Hey Flo. Hi. I heard you were getting ready for your depth of field presentation, so I figured I'd ask you 21 questions. What type of photography do you shoot? I shoot portrait photography, photojournalism, and I do a lot of celebrity photography. Ooh, cool. And what got you started in photography? I got started in photography in high school. Um, it was a uh, elective in our arts curriculum and I decided to stick with it through all four years. Wow, that's awesome. Thank you. And what's your go-to camera and lens now? My go-to camera and lens are a Canon 5D Mark IV and I would say the 35mm 1.4. Nice. Version 2. Ooh, yeah. And uh, what was your first camera and lens? My first camera was a Minolta 700, X700. Cool. And the first lens on there was, I believe it's a 35 1.8, whatever the standard key lens is for that film camera. Yeah. And so from taking these classes in high school and sticking through it to now making your way into celebrity and fashion photography with big magazines like Vogue, how did that happen? Honestly, I just had a little bit of a combination of luck and preparation. I really enjoyed taking pictures. I was super excited to just edit and get the richness and the colors and the right expressions and um, timing was kind of right and I got an opportunity to do that with some big names and the rest is sort of history. That's amazing. You've had some pretty amazing accomplishments like being on Forbes 30 Under 30 list this year. How does it feel to be recognized by these outlets? It feels really amazing, super humbling as well. Uh, when I started off on my photography journey um, professionally, it was about six, seven years ago, and a majority of that time has been spent with me just sort of making my own connections and the work speaking for itself, as well as using social media. So I think that my own kind of formula working and allowing me to continue to work with such awesome artists and on awesome assignments, I think it really just speaks to the importance of the work being what it needs to be. So I'm just happy to be acknowledged. Yeah, that's awesome. And so for someone who photographs people like Cardi B and other celebrities too, What's it like documenting her and others on set behind the scenes? What's been your favorite shoot with Cardi B? Um, I really enjoy my story and like sharing it because I think the idea of being a behind the scenes photographer for Cardi B is just such a fascinating experience that I got to have. Um, I would say that my favorite behind the scenes moments of her. I feel like as the years went on, her production level just continued to just go up. So I would say that um, Up is one of my favorite <laughs> records. Um, she was on this like 10 foot airplane mock-up and she had like this crazy hairstyle that was filled with dolls. And I think some of the BTS just continues to get very theatrical and intense. And I feel like WAP, which was a very uh, legendary record, featuring Megan Thee Stallion. I think that went on to be a really awesome video. And I think that BTS was really cool. Especially seeing how some of the young women that she did highlight in that video, like Lotto and um, Normani have continued to um, make their way in the industry and become their own artists. Yeah, no, well, that's such a cool experience. And so what I personally love about your Instagram is that you mix up photos you've taken, but also BTS photos giving an inside look of your personal life. Why do you think it's important for photographers today to incorporate themselves in front of the camera as well? This is a great question. And I think often the kind of conversation with photographers is like, you know, to be a photographer, to be a content curator, creator, you know, to share my visuals, my work, you know, to share my life and my, um, my work. Uh, but I think since Instagram is a visual platform, I honestly feel like go with your gut. Like if you're somebody who believes in putting the work first, you want to use your Instagram like a portfolio, more power to you, my friend. <laughs> As for me, I want to show my fits off. I want some people to see, you know, my nails and my jewelry and my hairstyles. And I feel like that's something that I enjoy sharing. I think also 
it happening to be part of where, um, you know, my brand continues to also grow, yeah. that is an awesome coincidence, but I don't think I'm necessarily trying to put myself out there just to be marketable or to, you know, because then it feels like work and then it's not fun. So from red carpets, events, BTS, commercials, how do you approach each shoot from lighting to gear? Equipment list may get kind of overwhelming to me because as someone who came into photography as a natural light shooter, I'm used to more so working with what I got. And the good thing about that was that, of course, that kind of led to where my BTS career and like stills career started. But I do think that it's important to, you know, when you see an image and when you see a reference from a client or when you see something that you want to emulate, um, for your own passion project or portfolio that you do that research and you understand what it took to get that image. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you'll think it's like intense setup and it could just be a flash um, that's on balance. Sometimes it's the other way around. So the more you know, the better. Great. You photographed the 2022 Met Gala. Congrats. What was that night like? How did you get that gig? And what was your favorite look? Uh, you know, I'm going to have to charge you guys for the exclusive info, but <laughs> just kidding. Um, I, I think that it was obviously a really great experience, um, quite surreal, but also very human. Like one way I've described the experience is in the past is saying that it felt like a bunch of, you know, high school kids in the cafeteria <laughs> and there's just like different groups at, you know, different tables and there's like you know, the hippies, and there's like the sisters, and then there's like, I don't know, the the cool jockey guys. <laughs> and so there's different photos I, ha photos I have that I think when assembled, you kind of like get an idea of like the overall um, dynamic yeah. of different celebrities. And um, I was really happy with my outfit. I got a lot of cool compliments, oh, that's awesome. you know? Um, and that was really cool. So yeah, it's something I definitely want to do again and uh, amazing, amazing experience. Thank you, That's Bill. awesome. Well, let's hope you do it again. You've worked on magazines with an all women team and you capture many black people and black women in the community with empowering messages. What do you hope to accomplish with a career that leaves an impact? I think that being able to pay it forward and share free game, um, which essentially means advice with the future generation of photographers and creatives is really important to me. Um, I have found that in the first few years of my career, just kind of like moving around, trying to get gigs, um, or like trying to manage like gigs when they started coming in. Um, it's been something that allowed me to kind of like learn myself as a photographer and like learn myself as a growing businesswoman. But one thing that is really important to me legacy wise that I want to make sure I'm being more intentional about is supporting the next generation of creatives and sharing my story. I think sometimes it feels like my story is not as valid um, because I feel like it's just so random what happened to me that and it's like I don't know what to tell you like this is just like this is what happened you know but at the same time there's so many things I've learned on the way from that point a to like where I'm at now you know I used to literally go into B&H and buy photo supplies for like high school class you know like high school like dark room work and so to be able to have done you know something with that knowledge and with that information about photography and networking and branding, I definitely want to pay it forward. Sure. Yeah. Well, I think from the outside in, I think it's pretty clear that your photos is why I don't think it's necessarily random as to what happened in your journey. I think the photos speak for itself and, you know, other people see it. Thank you. <laughs> um, so aside from speaking at this year's b and Depth of Field, which I'm so excited to see, what else are you looking forward to for this year? Ooh, okay. Um, I think more speaking. Like, I love talking. Yeah. And I love being behind the camera. Um, but I also am enjoying being in front of the camera more. Mm -hmm. So I think opportunities like speaking um, on stage just remind me of, you know, when I was younger, like, I was always very social, very energetic. And that is part of what I'll be sharing at my um, depth of field talk, is basically just kind of how important I think being able to be 
um, around your subjects or your clients are as far as like energy wise. I think like it's important to, you know, make people comfortable and the gift of gab is something that I hope to harness even further. <laughs> so this year I hope to be doing more, um, yeah, just empowerment of young photographers and young creatives who I can say hello to and put a face to different images I've That's shot before. Perfect. That's awesome. Switching it up a little bit, you photograph a lot of celebs with little time to get that perfect shot. What would be one tip you can give the audience to make sure to get that money shot when you maybe only have a few seconds to get it? Hmm, well, I'm gonna break it to you guys. There may not be a such thing as a perfect shot. I think that the sooner that we as photographers and creatives like dismantle this idea of perfectionism, mm. the more we let the real work and the real essence of creativity flow. And then from there, I think that a combination of, you know, just skill, practice, um, and just, you know, sharpening that vision, sharpening that eye, I think a combination of those over time is what creates perfect money shots. Bucket list shoot. Calvin Klein, Soho, like that real estate that they have, that huge, uh -huh. um, like billboard space, I want to do a shoot Ooh. and have something up there. Let's manifest that one. Bucket list subject. Brianna, Drake. I would say Burnham Boy, but I have shot Burnham Boy before. <laughs> again, again. <laughs> You've been to some cool places for shoots. Which has been your favorite? Ooh, I went to Hawaii with Gucci Mane when I was like 23. Oh my God. And that was legendary because Neither of us had ever been to Hawaii, and I was just young and free and just <laughs> happy. <laughs> oh, that's so cool. If you could use one lens forever, which would it be? I'd take the 24, 1.4. Even though I said that the 35 is my favorite lens forever, I would need something a little wider. Yeah. Strobes, speed lights, or natural? Natural. Why? I mean, God gives us light, you know? We're literally just trying to mimic it. So photographers, sorry, we're frauds, okay? Yeah. But like, I think that natural light always. Awesome. Yeah. Aside from lights, what's your favorite piece of gear? Aside from lights, my favorite piece of gear is a memory card. Ah, that's a good one. Best advice you've ever received? Best advice I've ever received is pray about it. Okay. I don't, even, I don't mean to laugh, but you know, sometimes you gotta get spiritual on sure. these things. <laughs> Advice you'd give your 20 year old self? Advice I'd give my 20 year old self was think for your 27 year old self. <laughs> if there were to be a movie about your life, who would play you? Ooh, maybe like my future kid or who was a celebrity. <laughs> I think. Like Kiki Lane or something, or like just one of those like beautiful, like Amazonian, like black women yeah. who are you know just rising to the top of the of the entertainment industry. Yeah, I love that. Last question: Who should we interview next? Next, you should interview Tyra Mitchell. Okay. Okay, so you'll have to share her info. We'll call her right up and yes. uh, you can come with. And the reason I said her name yeah. was, um, I think right now we're in a time and space where photography, especially for women and women of color, is like really getting a lot of visibility, um, which is amazing. But this is someone who I'm actually friends with, yeah. but was one of the first people who inspired me as far as like being at Milk Studios, being at Fashion Week, and we used to work together. So. Um, people would come in and recognize her all the time. So she was someone that was like this cool New York, like shot on film, like woman of color. Um, and she's just awesome. And from the DMV area, but lives in New York for some time. Cool. One of my first like photography, like cool girl inspirations. Oh, I love that. Cool, then we'll definitely hit her up. <laughs> awesome, so we'll see you at Depth of Field. Thank you so much. All Thank right, get you. back to it. Bye, Venus. <laughs>